Hey, man. You about to go shoot? Yep. I wish I could do street photography. Why can't you? I don't know. I'm scared. It's not scary, man. I can give you some tips if you want. Really? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Let's go over my system for street photography. What are you looking at? If you follow this system, you might just walk away with a decent street photo and limit any negative interactions you may have out there. It's a two-part system broken into five steps for the first part, four steps for the second, with a potential multiplier and a variable load mechanic due to the integration waveform and its likelihood of collapse under strategic intercellular analysis. What? Let's break it down. You know, it's rude to not look at somebody when you're talking to them. We'll start with P. Predict what kind of shot you might want to get. E. Evaluate the scene. N. Negotiate with the light. Am I supposed to memorize all this? I. Integrate with the scene. And S. Snap the photo. I don't think this will be useful to anybody. Now sometimes you'll run into trouble, which is where step two will come in. And that is B, back up. A, apologize. L, lessen the intensity. Followed by another L, leave the scene. This sounds like the ramblings of a very insane person. Now sometimes you might need to double that last part and really massage the situation in order to elongate step one, keep it up and get out there and take a big shot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the video. All right guys, so this is actually a video I've had on the back burner for a few weeks now. Um, I was really struggling on this day, so I just kind of set this one aside and uh, sort of forgot about it until I went to shoot the other day and my GoPro pissed me off for the last time by shutting off 15 minutes into a two hour session all while still blinking telling me that it was still recording. So that's the last straw. I'm no longer going to use the GoPro, and sorry to get all ranty again, but God damn it, it pisses me off. So not only am I not going to spend another dollar on a GoPro ever again, but I'm also strongly considering getting a job at GoPro headquarters as an internal tech support, and I will be putting horse porn on every employee's computer and then becoming a whistleblower and getting international attention on the company itself, hopefully getting it shut down once and for all. But anyway, after letting this video sit for a little while, I finally went back because I was sort of forced to and I edited these photos and looking at them with a fresh pair of eyes, some of them aren't too bad. So I figured screw it, I'll just go ahead and make this video because it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. So anyway, don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden in this video and I hope you enjoy. So one thing I was sort of struggling with was just finding a good composition. I don't know if my brain just wasn't working or what, but I was just finding all these awkward compositions that I was really hoping would work out, but they just really didn't. This one's just kind of off center and it just doesn't feel right. I think starting to get slightly better here. The silhouette's a little better defined, but I still think it's just a bit too messy with the background. The buildings are just way too chaotic.
definitely a day of experimentation. Um, I don't think these are bad. I just think that they're a bit odd. Um, I really like the colors in this one. I just wish that the light in the background was maybe a little different shaped or cleaner or something, but I, I really don't think they're terrible. And once I sat with them for a little while and, and edited them a couple weeks later, I kind of found a slight charm to them. So I think these ones were kind of cool. Uh, the reflection, honestly, could kind of take it or leave it. Just because you find a reflection doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good photo. Uh, compositionally, it's just a bit boring. I do really like the sort of long shadows of the people walking past here. I sat outside this spot for a few minutes waiting for somebody to come by. I really love this sort of barn door thing on the side of the building here. And uh, this subject seemed to be the perfect one to come by with her like bright platinum hair. don't know what I was going for with these last two. Uh, the composition's weak, the subjects are kind of boring. I guess I was just experimenting some more. Anyway, sorry for the sort of bummer, lame, short video this week, but uh, any and all grievances you have can be made out to GoPro Headquarters, 3000 Clearview Way, San Mateo, California, 94402 in the United States of America. I really hope I can stop talking about this shitty goddamn company because now I have a $400 paperweight and I kind of just want to throw it in the trash to be completely honest. I, I don't feel right selling it to anybody because I feel like they might go on a murderous spree after using it for 10 minutes. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Once I get my DJI Osmo, the video should resume as normal, and I want to start doing longer ones, uh, staying out longer to shoot, including more photos and stuff like that. Unfortunately, this day was just kind of a bummer, and I was forced into using it anyway. But either way, I do appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe. I promise my content is usually better than this. I'll see you guys in the next one.